hello everyone so in today's video I'm going to show you how to change the default port number for your virtual machine so let's go to the Azure portal this is one of my test VM that's the IP address so let's click on the VM so that's my IP address when I try to RDP to this machine Let me type in my top secret password. I'm able to RD. So by default, the port number will be 3389 when I go to networking. Under RDP, you can see 3389 port number is allowed from any source. So how do we change this? So to change the default port number from 3389 to anything else, there are two ways to do it one is from the azure portal one is from within the virtual machine so let me show you where it is inside the virtual machine so i'm in my virtual machine let's go to the registry settings so the path for registry you are going would be HK local machine system current control set control terminal server win station RDP TCP and under that you will find port number so once you double click on it you would see the value return hexadecimal so let's click on decimal and you can type in a new port number one two three four five so let's cancel it for now so just to show you let me change it from the azure portal so i go back to my virtual machine and i type in command on the virtual machine menu and there are a list of commands here so i click on set rdp port before that let me show you one more thing so that's my ip I go to command prompt, I type in telnet space my IP 3389. So clearly we can see we are able to communicate on port number 3389. So let's get out from here. Let's go back to the virtual machine and let's go to the run command. I choose set RDP port. Let me enter the port number. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4. I click on run so the script might take a minute or so so let's wait let's wait few more seconds My RDP connection is disconnected, so it's doing something. Port number is 12345, so I got a response. Setting RDP port number to 12345, okay. So now let's close this out. Click on OK. So can I log into my machine now? No. There is one more step to be performed. If you remember in networking, there is this default port number RDP 3389. So we need to allow the new port number which is 12345. So let's change it from RDP to custom. And let me type in 12345. I save it let's wait for a minute it shows updating updated security rules so i have allowed port number one two three four five in the nsg settings and that's my vm ip let's see if we are able to rdp so can i rdp like this no if I just type this, it would take the default port number which is 3389. 
we need to put a colon followed by one two three four five so click on connect so when it connect it might take few seconds to take effect we may have to try once again okay so it's prompting for the password so my top secret password again okay let me go back to the registry settings so again i'm at the same location is key local machine system current control set control terminal server in station rdp let's see what is the port number now so what do we see here one two three four five so when you run the command from the Azure portal, the command is executed inside the VM through the Azure VM agent. And it takes effect in the same registry where you would have any way done once you are inside Windows. So there are just different ways of doing it. So that's about today's video. If you found this video useful, please like this video and you can subscribe to my channel and if you are looking for any specific video with respect to Azure, please mention in the comment section below. I'll try to prepare that video for you. So that was about today's video. Thanks for watching.